Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMay and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making something very Mexican, a taco dia. Taco and a quesadilla put together in one with longaniza, which is a Mexican chorizo, a little bit of Oaxacan cheese, some sour cream with cumin in it, cilantro and onions, and some guacamole. I am actually making a different version than Hyla over at Hyla Cooking who does a really delicious taco in a crispy shell with some ground beef and some super spices that she uses. But like I said, we're doing my version for now, so let's get cooking. The first thing I'm going to do is I will make my cumin sour cream and really all that is is getting some sour cream and mixing just a tad bit of ground cumin in it. It gives it just an extra kick, some special flavor. Every now and then you want something that just gives an added extra punch to your dish. Set, ready to go. Next, I'm gonna do my onion, but I'm gonna do it for two different things right now. I will make one set of onions for my garnish with cilantro and the second set of onion I will make to actually saute with the langaniza. Easy, we're gonna do little knife skills now. Only try this if you're comfortable with it. The way that we do as chefs to make sure that our onions or any other kind of, I guess, shallot garlic is cut in uniform shape, we first slice in. And depending on how thick we want those pieces, we'll determine where I come on the line for the onion. Then I bring my knife down, and again, depending on how uniform or what size, will be with the shape of how big I make that cut on the onion. I'll do the same thing for this one here. And please, be careful, make sure that your knife is super safe because and sharp, because if it's not, you will slice your hand. Coming in again, same size, everything is uniform. Easy. So one set of onions we're putting into another bowl. That goes in here. This gets saved for my chorizo, and these always save the ends, great for stock or anything else. Gonna get some cilantro. Again, I'll be cutting this up for two different things, one for my chorizo and one for my garnish. We wanna make sure that we cut this in a pretty uniform piece as well, because we want it to cook evenly. Some goes here. And let's finish this up. And some gets put right here. And I'm going to use just a tad bit of jalapeno, and that's gonna get sauteed with the longaniza, the chorizo. So I like to add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of kick. Lemon, we will squeeze as it's actually sauteing, and I'm gonna pull apart some of this Oaxacan cheese. Oaxacan cheese made in Oaxaca, it's very much like string cheese, as you can see. It gets rolled into one big, long ball. We can melt it, eat it in a sandwich. If you don't have Oaxacan cheese, you can't find it. No problem, get mozzarella. Okay, so we're gonna have a nice piece. I'm gonna cut that up so it melts nice and evenly. Done. And now, for the chorizo. This is nice and squishy. Two different ways that you can actually use this, right? One is that you can cut it up into pieces and cook it like that. I prefer not to do that since we're making kind of like a ground beef taco, but with chorizo instead. I will squish it out and it's gonna get fried and crumble up just like ground beef. There it is. And this is smells, God, this smells wonderful. Garlic, a little bit of lemon, lime, coriander, cumin, it's phenomenal. All right, I think I have enough and we're ready to get our taco dio guy. I have my hot pan, I'm adding a little bit of oil to that because I wanna make sure that my cilantro, onions, and jalapenos get a nice good sweat on them and I wanna get them kind of soft. Inside, love that sizzle. The flavors here are amazing, just to smell them. It's just like a bouquet of loveliness. This is where I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. As you can see, the onions have started to turn a little translucent, which means that I can add my chorizo at this point. In it goes. And now all I'm going to do is make sure that I integrate the onion, cilantro, and jalapenos in with the chorizo. 
and brown the chorizo really, really nice. You don't necessarily have to make a taco dia with this type of filling. You can for sure just make a regular taco. You can get a hard shell taco and stuff it in there. Or you can make a typical quesadilla with a flour tortilla as well and make something nice out of the stuffing. Now while that's going on, one of the main key things about making a great quesadilla is that you want to have a nice melted cheese. And sometimes after you get the filling in on it, it's hard to kind of maneuver all that. So what I'm going to do now is start the process of getting my cheese nice and melted in this pan while the chorizo is cooking in this pan. I don't like my quesadillas or my taco dias to be I guess crispy, but if you wanted to, this would be the time where you would add oil to the bottom of this pan so the bottom of the tortilla gets kind of like browned and nice and crisp. We're gonna leave it kind of soft and moist like a traditional flour tortilla. Nice and crumbly. The chorizo breaks up really nicely. Start layering some of that meat right on top. It's gonna help melt the top part of the cheese. I'm going to give it its own little nice hat and let it cook. The cheese is melting. One of the things about having the cheese melt is that the chorizo actually sticks to the cheese. Now this is going to be the trick. I'm using a very small pan, so we do not want... Voila! One, two, and bam! Three. It's taken on a really nice color from the chorizo. The cheese is nice and melted. This is getting ready to be plated in about two seconds. Taco D is ready and we're gonna plate it. Oh yeah! We have our sour cream. So first, get that bad boy right up on top of there. Give it a nice little hat of guacamole. And some garnish. As I always say, aesthetics first. So here we have our taco dia with longaniza, which is a chorizo from Mexico with some Oaxacan cheese, guacamole, cumin sour cream, and a garnish of cilantro and onions. All right, so for me, I like a lot of guacamole and uh, I think there might be a decent amount, but I'm gonna add some extra. All right, here we go. Go fold that bad boy up. There, a little more of this. Smack it on and going in for the zoom. Here we go. Uh -huh. Okay, it's like eating an enchilada quesadilla taco all at once. The tortilla is nice and soft, it gathers some of the oil from the chorizo. The chorizo is nice, it has a flavor, the spice, a little bit of acidity. The Oaxacan cheese, mellow, mild, smooth. Sour cream, delicious. Guacamole, always good. This is one of the best taco dias ever had. Delicious. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Every week I'm doing something different, something new, something fun. And if you want to check out how to make my guacamole, click right here and you get an extra special surprise with my bootleg tips on how to make guacamole. See you soon. So let's get started. I first get my avocados, which have been ripened already. They're nice and soft. I like to use Haas avocados. See how green it is.